I am actually always an outdoor person. You know, when I always feel like I want to drive to these kind of scenic locations, I always believe that a 4x4 uh, SUV will be the best uh, vehicle to drive. But unfortunately, in today's age, we will not be able to afford or we will not be able to buy new age SUVs because the prices are like rocket high. So if you are in the market for a used car, then I'm going to introduce you to something very legendary and something very, very special. This is a Land Cruiser Prado. The name itself is legendary on its own, right? So this is the Land Cruiser Prado. Uh, this specific model is J120. That, that's called as J120. So I'm going to introduce you and explain a small bits and pieces of the Land Cruiser Prado. And I'm going to do a very short drive review of this uh, legendary vehicle as well. Uh, so welcome to Pit Stop guys. Uh, welcome to my channel and uh, this is such a special car. I'm very happy to uh, you know showcase this car for you because uh, you know many people will be planning to buy uh, vintage cars or new cars or whatever it is but when you are in the used car market there are tons of options right. So in that tons of options this is actually one of the legendary one. This is one of the reliable one but of course when it comes to uh, legendary cars we will have to uh, pay the price and we will have to uh, think about the maintenance part also because that's that plays a major role so in that sense i'm going to take you through a small video where i'm explaining everything about maintenance everything about uh, the legendary reliability uh, and uh, everything about the drive experience of the dryland cruiser prado as well so welcome to pit stop uh, before kick starting the video please do subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications so let's start uh, details with the Land Cruiser Prado from the lucky owner itself. So this is actually the maximum ride height of the Land Cruiser Prado J120. Let me check how much. All right. <laughs> okay. So my whole head, it goes inside this space. So let me change it into the normal mode. Okay, so now the vehicle is getting changed into the normal mode. Let's, we will have to give it like a few seconds. Okay, now let's check how much space is there. Okay, so now my head is not fitting inside, right? So let me change it to the low mode now. There is one more adjustment for the right height, which is the low mode. So let's check how much the right height, right height is getting changed. Okay, let me check if it is all done. Yeah, done. So this is the lowest ground clearance uh, for the Land Cruiser Prado in its air suspension option. And there is the highest point as well. So low, normal and high. So sitting inside the Land Cruiser Prado, uh, you might not believe that this is a 15 plus year old car. That's the speciality of the Land Cruiser Prado if you ask me because uh, in 2023 or 2024 even if you pay 60 lakhs for a Fortuner you will not get a sunroof but a 15 year old Land Cruiser Prado comes with a sunroof how cool is that not just a sunroof it's an electronic sunroof so it's super cool right so that's one thing apart from that just take a look at the dashboard layout do you think that this car looks 15 year old it has got everything that you can ask for. It has got super basic controls. It has got a very good steering wheel. It has got cruise controls. It has got electronic side mirror adjustments, a very powerful AC, a little, so many storage compartments here on the door side pockets. Here you have got two cup holders, a quite a large, uh, you know, handrest compartment here and everything you can ask for say for example take a look at the gear lever it, it's an automatic uh, so it has got a couple of options this is the transfer case like four wheel drive adjustment options for high v high low neuter and then low low options and then this switch is where you adjust the ride height of the uh, land cruiser prado and then you have got one more switch over here which will give you the option to change the drive modes there is comfort there is normal and there is sport mode so these are the three drive modes available in the land cruiser prado i'm completely in love with the uh, interiors of the land cruiser prado just trust me guys this is a fantastic car because if you are in the used car market just take a drive of the land cruiser prado if you can find a good quality car then you should definitely go for it that's my uh, opinion here you get a small screen as well where it shows all the trip uh, like how much mileage it is giving the time the temperature and a small compass as well which is loaded over here 
so such a legendary car uh, it gives an awesome uh, you know seating position awesome ride height everything is fantastic this is how the front row of the land cruiser prado looks like so the second row of the land cruiser prado so before that let me show you the third row actually so if you take a look at the third row it's the seating position is very upright so maybe fit for two or three kids but not fit for adults at any cost but maybe for short runs you can adjust uh average sized adults that's one thing and uh, the middle row is actually 60 40 split seats so let me just push it back and uh, it's impossible to get inside the prado without a footstep because it's so tall even in the normal seating uh, height position of the suspension it's so tall so this much space you will get i don't i don't uh, i don't say that you have got enormous amount of leg room no no the seat uh, seating space is a bit limited uh, that's one thing but there should be an option is there an option to slide the second row seat unfortunately no uh, in in the old fortune there was an option to slide the seats first and in the handrest itself you get something to but it's not opening up okay sorry it's stuck there's a small tray here so it's not opening up so let it be inside and uh, these are the seat back pockets uh, this is the sunroof you get large windows that gives you a more airy feel inside the car and everything is so good uh, you get dual zone climate control here you get the temperature option here you get the fan speed option here you can turn on the rear cool rear uh, you know um, ac on or off right from here itself so that's super cool right so uh, a pretty comfortable and uh, spacious cabin inside the Land Cruiser Prado. No complaints and absolutely particularly this car is so lovely guys. So so lovely that it's one of the best cars you can buy in the used car market. So driving the J120 Prado, the V6 actually feels... I'm not able to hear the engine note at all for a 15 year old car very butter smooth refined engine i'm driving it off road currently and i don't hear any i don't feel like you know driving off road at all because the suspension is butter smooth it's getting the air suspension set up so that it's very smooth and refined and uh, now i'm getting on the road and wow what a machine this is guys i'm really in love i could have uh, I wish to take the Land Cruiser Prado, but I'm a bit scared about the fuel efficiency figures because, you know, we have to admit that the V6 petrol will only give you 5 or on an average 7 km per litre. That's like very, very low fuel efficiency uh, for a car because I only I only have one car. Currently, I'm driving a Fortuner, but that, that itself is like, you know, a bit of headache for me when it comes to fuel efficiency. But apart from that, I'm happy with that car. But when it comes to Land Cruiser, I'm seriously scared about the fuel efficiency part because uh, such a lovely car, such a capable off-roader, such a lovely mission to uh, cover miles fantastic car i don't have any doubt about that but uh, in terms of fuel efficiency i was a bit scared so that's why i was not looking at the j120 but after driving it my desirability is getting higher and higher and higher the v6 is such a lovely machine uh, the engine is actually lovely like you, you just press the throttle and it goes it goes it goes it goes the smoothness of the engine and the suspension is unparalleled i didn't expect this kind of a smoothness from such a big uh, suv to be very frank so that's my take about the land cruiser prado you get your own sweet uh, body roll if you are driving it dynamically around uh, corners but uh, apart from that such a lovely lovely machine and uh, if you want to do thousand kilometers on a single day do it guys you will not feel tiresome at all with the land cruiser prado can you actually listen the engine note i can barely hear the engine note guys such a refined uh, 
it's actually a monstrous <laughs> 4 litre V6 but I can barely hear the engine note so that's the level of refinement and what surprises me is that this car is over 15 years uh, in age and still the engine feels so much refined um, so I have shared my experience with the used Land Cruiser Prado this is the 120 series J120 series hope you guys enjoyed this video if you ask me uh, whether I will go for a new car, any new car like for 12 lakhs, how much, what you will get for 12 lakhs? Maybe a full option Swift or a full option i20 or an i20 N line or maybe a Tata Nexon base variant, right? But this is what you get uh, for 12 lakhs or like, you know, under 15 lakhs of budget. So depending upon the condition of the car, the price will keep on varying and such a lovely, lovely machine. So my uh, suggestion is that if you have got a trustable mechanic or a trustable service center where you can take all your uh, German or uh, even uh, these kind of Land Cruisers to a mechanic and get it sorted, then it's best to go for a used car like this rather than b giving all your money and getting a brand new car which has got not even half of the capabilities of this machine so such a lovely machine thank you so much for watching guys please do subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications please do follow us on facebook twitter and instagram thank you so much bye bye